I've been trying to remain positive about this, but it's become quite difficult now. You know, for a while, I was in the mindset of, well, you know, maybe Trump becoming president will be good for media and it will force media to be better than, it, than it's been. The way that things are going now, I'd say that it wouldn't matter how much mainstream media shapes up. People are of this mindset now where, well, if it comes from mainstream media, it must be false. And if it comes from some source I've never heard of that I can't really back up with anything, except facts from other, supposed facts, from other sources that are dubious. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to believe this because it's not mainstream media. Man, a way to destroy a country like ours is to destroy our confidence in provable things, to destroy our confidence in media. If we, if our confidence in media goes away and everyone just goes into their little bubble where they don't have to fact check it, check anything, man, we're, we're through. We are kind of a media based culture. Media guides a lot of stuff about us. Now, this could be an argument to say, well, then we shouldn't be so reliant on them. Well, that's true. But most of the people who are, who have lost confidence in any sort of mainstream media, who would be the types that would say that, you know, if, if, if mainstream media said that rat poison is actually poisonous, uh, some of you would question that claim. Now, to those who are of that mindset that are that extreme about uh, anything mainstream media says, then I hope mainstream media puts out a story saying that uh, rat poison is actually poison. And then we can, you know, rid the world of people that are so that are so stupid uh, because of their ideology. When you become so anti something, you start to form a really strong ideology. And a lot of ideologies make people stupid because they say, well, you can't think about these things. An ideology always has something like that in there. Maybe I won't say always, you know, virtually always has some some element in it where you are not to think about certain types of things. You are not to think of things in certain ways. And when you stop yourself from thinking, you become stupid. You essentially become retarded via an ideology. This can come from religion. This can come from, uh, this can come from political beliefs. Very specific types of Marxism can do this. If someone allows sociology to become dogmatic, it can uh, become that way. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that can be that way. But yeah, if we lose confidence in media and we're going to believe in things just because it sort of matches our ideology, we're in trouble. You know, being Losing confidence in media is far more devastating for a country such as the United States than people completely losing confidence in Congress or the president or authority figures in government. Far more damaging, far, far, far more damaging because in general, media has been people's window to the world. Now we have the internet, which has opened up people's view to the world a lot larger than before. And we're able to see what we've become, what we've been, and what are some of the possibilities of the future that are easily seen. But the sheer amount of disinformation and just flat out fake news that's out there is really fucking things up. So many things being reported on as fact that when you go look into the proof, it just starts to dwindle away because the sources of that information aren't, they're not valid sources. So when I see stories about uh, Pizzagate over and over again, oh, satanic rituals, satanic rituals. You know what that is? You know what that phrase is? It's designed to scare Christians. Okay, and just a couple years ago, anytime anyone would see that phrase, satanic rituals, you know that, you know immediately that whatever source is saying this is probably not going to be valid. Anyone who actually knows what Satanism is and what satanic rituals would actually be 
all this this scaremongering about it would would you would laugh you'd say wow that's that's pathetic what people are saying i mean it's just when they use that for satanic rituals oh no when they do that i mean it's the same as some sort of horror film horror films the primary thing that they they use to scare people are are symbols and little clips of ideas that would be terrifying to Christians and uh, Muslims, Jews, anyone who has a sort of a biblical or Quranic uh, viewpoint of reality. It's going to scare those people based off of those things. Now, horror movies have become less that way over the years because they know that there are less people, there are fewer people who think that way. But still, those kinds of symbols are con continue to be used. And when you start to look at how uh, news uh, media will try to scare people on about this or that, you can figure out what their target audience is. And when you see an article that's that's like, Hey, Christians, time to be scared. You toss it aside and find a different source for that same story. And if you can only find dubious places that supply information about that story, that have that at least come to that kind of conclusion about it, especially if it's some sort of non-incident, non-happening, like Pizzagate, you know, you need to remain having some skepticism about other sources other than mainstream media. Just because you've dropped your confidence in mainstream media doesn't mean you put all the confidence you used to into mainstream media into other sources. And that's what's happening all over the place right now. And it's scary. It's scary to see this. Like I said, people will believe in some sort of a news source because it makes this or that look bad or it props up some story that's bullshit in the first place, like Pizzagate. And it doesn't matter if it says that Sandy Hook was a hoax, or uh, Obama is really a Muslim, or any of that stuff. It doesn't matter all the stupid things that it says, uh, because it isn't mainstream media and says something bad about people that you dislike, it must be true. Now, when it comes to most people stating anything negative about Trump right now, um, most of it's about who he's wanting to have on his cabinet. Let's drain that swamp and replace it with toxic sludge. Now, so many of you are still saying, well, let's just wait and see. Well, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. There's, there's nothing, we don't have another choice, really. We're just, some of us are just trying to say, um, look at this insanity that's coming up. Some of you who have been just Oh, let's just give it a chance. No matter no matter who it is that we pu that he puts in, let's just forget about everything that those people stand for and what they've done in their careers. Let's just forget about all of that and let's just give this a chance. Yeah, those of you that have been saying this, who actually are liberal, but you've been willing to throw away your values to promote a sort of an ideology temporarily, you're going to be crying in your Cheerios, your store brand Cheerios on discount because it was uh, past date a little bit, that uh, the liquid that you have in the Cheerios isn't milk because you can't afford it. Instead, it's the fresh piss from corporations because, you know, trickle-down economics. Yes, you'll be crying in your store brand Cheerios with corporate piss in it, wondering how this happened. Then there'll be some of you who are going to be like, thank you, sir, can I have another? Thank you, sir, can I have another? Until, you know, close to the end of the Trump presidency, whatever method that is that he, you know, is eventually no longer president. Um, you know, not until then, or maybe even after that, that you'll go, oh, oh, I guess that wasn't so good, was it? You can only warn people so much. You know, hey, look out, cliff ahead. Hey, no, cliff ahead. Hey, let me try to block you. Don't try to block me. That's blocking my freedom of speech. Fine, fine, all right. You know, this uh, homeopathy site said that you can just keep walking forward. And this uh, Christian propaganda site says, well, even if it does, it looks like air, you can still walk on it. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, there's only so much you can do to try to to let people know, hey, look what's ahead. Before you're just like, okay, well, you know, I kind of give up. If you if you put in the most conservative people into the government, I mean, even Reagan didn't have this many ultra conservative uh, people surrounding him. And corruption, we're about to be taken to the fucking cleaners. But no, shh, shh, just give him a chance. There's nothing to worry about. Shh. shh. My alt-right media says everything's fine.